Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting homemade equation with complex numbers. What is a complex number? We'll talk about those, but if you need more details or if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. If you like algebra, number theory, and trigonometry problems, go ahead and check out my other channel, the very first one, Cyber Math, Cyber with an S. Great, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem from two different angles. And let's start with the first method. So we have a Z, which is a complex number, and then its complex conjugate is added two times that plus three Z, and then the answer is one plus I, and we're gonna be solving for Z values. What else can we solve for? We could probably solve for Z bar two, but that's pretty much the same thing. And you could do it if you want. But like I said earlier, if you need more information about complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. Another way to learn is to ask questions, a lot of questions, okay? I'm sure somebody will answer, if not necessarily me. So to solve this problem, let's start with the first method. To solve for z, I'm going to set z equal to a plus bi for two reasons. One, it solves the problem. Two, it's the name of this channel. Maybe that should be the first reason, right? But anyways, now you know the name of this channel in case you forgot. Now we're going to go ahead and substitute this. But what is z bar? z bar is a special complex number. If z is a plus bi, z bar is a minus bi. So that when you add z and z bar, you get a real number. And when you multiply them, you again get a real number. In that sense, it's unique. But here, a and b are real numbers. And i is the square root of negative 1, which you can also write as i squared equals negative 1. I say the square root because this is considered the principal square root of negative 1. There are two square roots for each complex number, except for 0. 0 is very exceptional. Anyways, so let's go ahead and plug this in to our original problem. 3z, 3 times a plus bi, plus 2z bar, which is 2 times a minus bi, and you want this to equal 1 plus i. How nice is that, right? Could you guess? Probably not. It's going to be difficult. Maybe you can. So let's go ahead and distribute 3a plus 2a is 5a, 3b and minus 2b, or not 2b, yay, I can say that, will give us just bi, this is equal to 1 plus i. You know what that means? If two complex numbers are equal, then their real parts are equal. What do I mean by real parts? The real part is the real part, which is this one here. This is the real part. And the imaginary part does not contain i, it's just the number in front of i. In other words, you can call that the coefficient of i, okay? And of course, that has to be the same on both sides. So 5a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 because i means 1i, right? So from here, we get the following. a equals 1 over 5 and b equals 1, which indicates that z is equal to 1 over 5 plus i. Why? Because we define z as a plus bi, so 1i is going to be i again, so that's our number. Well, maybe you could guess and check, but that would take forever, or it should take longer, that's why we use this method. And this is actually a really cool way to do the problem, because it applies to a number of different equations, especially when you have z and z bar together, or sometimes you can have the absolute value of z in the mix, uh, and you can just substitute a z equals a plus vi, and then solve for a system of equations. In this case, that was super duper easy, but I thought this would be a nice problem, okay? So that's z, and if you wanted to check your work, you could definitely do that. For example, 3 times z is going to be this, and then plus 2 times z bar is going to be this, and if you go ahead and do the work, 3 over 5 plus 3i plus 2 over 5 minus 2i, this will give us 5 over 5, which is 1, this will give us plus 1i, so the answer will be satisfied. Yes, it works. We verified Z is indeed a solution. How many solutions are there? Only one, <laughs> because this equation is kind of linear. 
That's why we got one solution. Some equations have no solutions. You could probably find an equation like, for example, let, let's make up one. How about that? That's fun, right? Z plus Z bar is equal to one plus I. If I gave you this equation, this equation would not have any solutions, even in the complex world, because what happens is BI and minus PI cancel each other out, leaving us with a real number, but we have a non-real number on the right-hand side, which is not gonna work. So not all equations have solutions, obviously, right? Cool, so that's the solution. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method because I think second method is really cool, but again, it's up to you. You're gonna get to decide which method you like better. So what was the original problem? 3z, right, plus 2 z bar is equal to one plus i. Now, we're gonna use some properties, of course, like I said earlier, if you kind of look at the basics of complex numbers in the lecture videos, we go over these things. For example, what is the conjugate of the conjugate? It's the z itself. What happens if you have two complex numbers and conjugate the sum, then you get a sum of two conjugates, that goes for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, all operations work. And if you have a number like, let's say, kz, where k is a constant, a real constant, in this case, you want k to be real, otherwise this is not gonna work, you get k times z bar. You could also write this as the conjugate of k, but since k is real, its conjugate is gonna be itself. Think about it, conjugate of a is just a. Well, this is a more general form, let's say, you have z times w, which is the product of two complex numbers. If you conjugate that, you got the product of the two conjugates. Make sense? So it basically works with all these operations. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and conjugate both sides. I'm trying to be careful with the words. If you two conjugate, and then you get a conjugate when you do that, okay? Noun and verb. So let's go ahead and conjugate both sides like this. Of course, you have to do it on both sides. Another property is like, if z is w, then z bar is w bar, for obvious reasons, right? And of course, it's vice versa. Because you can conjugate a conjugate, you get the original, you get the idea? So properties kind of imply each other sometimes, or you can use them for proofs. But when we do this, we're gonna get the following. Three is gonna stay unchanged, but z is gonna turn into z bar, plus sign is unchanged, two is unchanged, z bar becomes z, and then one plus i becomes one minus i, because that's the complex conjugate of one plus i, right? So now, if you write, rewrite the original problem, you get two equations, which means you have a system, yay! Which means we can solve for whatever we like. And this is a linear system, right? So since we wanna get to z, because why would you do more work? Let's just solve for z. How do you solve for z? By eliminating or substituting. Either way is fine, I can show you both if you want, but I'm just gonna go with elimination, it seems easier to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply this by two and this one by negative three. Let's see what that gives us. 6z bar plus 4z is equal to 2 minus 2i, negative 9z minus 6z bar is equal to negative 3 minus 3i. Now if you go ahead and add these up, you're going to realize, okay, z bar cancels out. We end up with negative 5z equals negative 1 minus 5i. And if you divide both sides by negative 5, you'll get z as a result, which is negative 1 over negative 5. That's 1 over 5 and negative five cancels out, we get plus i. Again, we get the exact same solution. And of course, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and check the result from Wolfram Alpha because a lot of times I check this. Do you think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem? What do you think? Ta-da-da-da, -da -da. yes it can, because it's easy. Otherwise, it can't, right? <laughs> Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video, until then. Be safe, take care, and bye-bye.